For today's video, gather up all your scrap paper, your ephemera, your bling, your cutouts, any leftover thread, gather it all, bring it all in. You are gonna experience a fun way to use up your scraps. Hi, I'm Dawn, creator of DD Creates Crafts, and this is the channel for simple, duplicatable projects. You're gonna have fun and feel successful making over and over again. If this is your kind of channel, go ahead and hit subscribe while you're still thinking of it. Now, are you ready to create some crafts? I'm gonna turn you down and we're gonna get started. Let me get you comfortable, make sure you can see everything. Looking good. All right, before I show and tell everything, I've asked you to gather everything, and we are gonna break it into piles. I tend to, when I'm making my samples to show and tell you guys on the videos, I usually have leftovers of goodies because I changed my mind about a color or a design or an embellishment. So what I want you to do, if you've got leftovers like what I'm talking about, break it into piles where we have flowers and greenery here. Maybe you have some borders here. These are all my shapes and tags. So you can see I have some circles. I literally have tags. I've got some banners, some die cut shapes, anything that for the most part you would use for sentiments or to stack. And then I want you to put into a pile just um, some little fun stuff, uh, stamp items you may have. I've got my little ladybug, I've got some clouds, I've got some more clouds, and then I've got um, a pre-made bow. So this is how I want you to organize the goodies you already have. So I'm gonna put this aside because what if you don't have goodies like this? Well, let me show you what we're gonna do. First, you would have some paper and this, maybe it's this size. Well, I just cut a banner, but let me show you what I did. With the pieces, the two little triangles from the banner, I put one on top here, one on bottom here, on the corners, on one of my little punch guys, one of these that comes from the rainbow stamp and die bundle and decorated it, added a leftover bow, added a leftover little die cut heart. And this is a pretty little embellishment or ephemera in of itself. But I wanted to show you by creating this banner, I still used the little parts to decorate and make something else. Then, this is a cool punch. This is from Stampin' Up! And if you don't know this already, I want you to watch because the tools like this punch that I'm gonna show you throughout the video, you can order from me. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So if anything you fall in love with, and I'll show and tell what it is, I'll try to remember the names, I'll put all the links in the comment section, I'm sorry, in the description section, However, if you already have a demonstrator, please stay loyal to them. However, if you don't, I'm your gal. Now, what I like about this particular punch, it does three different things. Now watch this. Isn't that beautiful? So you can just do it, leave it in one corner to decorate. You can do it in all four corners. The world is your oyster. Turn it. This is how we make the rounded corners. How beautiful is that? So this is great for your, yes, your uh, ephemera, but it's also great for your cards. And then this little guy on this side, here we go. Am I doing it in the right spot? I didn't put it in the right spot. I should have gone in straight. Let me try that again. You can see I don't use it that much. It creates a little hole for you. So this one punch does three things. So I wanted to show and tell that because I am gonna show and tell a lot of punches today because you can make so much with the punches, you know? Let me grab this little guy. All right, so this punch makes tags. It doesn't matter how long or short you make your tag. What matters is the width, which is two inches. You slide it in, you give it a little punch, and it's a beautiful tag topper. Beautiful. Now these make great, again, decorations or gift tags, or make a decorate it as a gift tag and then put it on your card, or in your scrapbook, or in a, 
what do you call it? A junk journal, any of the journals. All right, now this stamp, this punch, it has a stamp set, which I love. Look, it's a little mason jar. So what I thought would be fun, let's punch out. Do I go in the right way? Yeah, I just wasn't pushing the right way. Let's punch out a mason jar. But to make it look like it has water in it, I thought, how cute and fun to then put some vellum on top of it to make it look a little more glassy, a little more like a jar. Now, if you own the stamp set, it just goes so beautiful with this. But look, if we add some more, bling, uh, not bling, but decoration, this is beautiful, even by itself. But put this on the back of a card or on the back of a label, precious, precious, precious. So I wanted to share that particular punch with you. Because using your punches and using your die cuts really allows you to use tiny, tiny, tiny pieces of paper. Now this I love, love, love because it makes clouds. Think about how often we need clouds for scenes, ocean scenes, forest scenes. This is cute with uh, rainbows. It's cute with flowers. It's a punch for clouds. One more punch, no, nah, two more punches for you. I don't have that many actually, but I love what I have. This one is a flower punch. It's the medium daisy. And the reason I ordered this is because the stamp set with the little ladybug, there's a stamp for a daisy. And this die, this particular punch, I'm sorry, punch, the, it's called the medium daisy. It works with that particular stamp. So let me cut another daisy. I got a couple things I do with the daisies. I like to do two and then layer them so the little petals go in and out of itself and put something in the middle. Another thing I do, let me grab my little fussy cut scissors, is I cut this daisy in half and I glue it together, but again, I put the petals in between themselves. And look, now it creates an entirely different flower. So you could put that on a stamped stem on a card, but that's what I did with this. That is this, what I did with that. So I wanted to show and tell this punch, and last but not least is, it looks like a stamp, like a postage stamp. So let me slide this skinny piece of cardstock in there. Look at that. How cute would a bunch of these solid color print be cute on the front of a card to make it look like a quilt or even do some layering where, let me do another one. Treat it like a whole uh, shape where you're gonna set it up like this and this and again, create a pattern with your postage stamp punch on the front of a greeting card. Now in my little bowl, I gathered up some ephemera from a uh, set I ordered. Guess where? Stamp it up. So it comes with cards. These are really for um, journaling, for scrapbooking. But I use these to make greeting cards and I definitely use the ephemera. And then it's got these little cards where that could be the front of a greeting card, beautiful day, or we could flip it over and use the back. So you could easily line it up like this, like this. So these kind of packs, these are leftover from a Bible journal I made using this set. But I wanted to share with you about using the different pieces. Here's some more. You could use that side. You see what I mean? These little memory packs are great. But you're saying, wait, we want to use up what we have. Yeah, we do. I wanted to give you an idea, because in the ephemera packs, sometimes you get little um, items like this that you can stamp your sentiments on. So I saved these. There's another piece of ephemera. I had one piece of this gold doily left. I use the gold, but if you flip it over, you can use it as white and you can cut it up. So anywho, I want to show and tell, now that I've showed you some ideas, let me show and tell one last one and then we're going to make some. Here's some leftovers. Everything I'm sharing with you are leftovers. So that was already made from a card I changed my mind. 
And then I've got this little one. He's a stamp and um, those are die cuts and I had the pre-cut little label. Here's another label, cut like that. You know I use those tastefully. Well, tasteful labels stitch so sweetly. And this one in particular is the uh, stitched rectangles and then the playful little alphabet. So again, just by having small pieces of leftover and stamping your image or die cutting out of your actual um, paper, pattern paper, which I did with that. All right, here's a little sample of my clouds and paper, and then this is the little die cut from the rainbow uh, bundle. And then I had that little bitty bit of ribbon left over, so I made that. This, I already had a piece of vellum and I already had this guy stamped and ready to go. So I just put the two together. I'll put that on some solid lavender. It's gonna look beautiful. And this is what I was talking about, how I used a piece of the gold of the doily. So I put it at the top. This is the label punch that I demonstrated for you, this guy. And then I just pre-cut some banners for myself out of different uh, scrap paper added a piece of bling. So this, I'll probably tie some string in the top, would be beautiful on top of a card. And last but not least, I used some of the shapes from the postage stamp. And this was actually paper, liner paper for an envelope that came out of a Stampin' Up! kit. So enough showing and telling. I want to share with you how to assemble and make some of our fun goodies. So I had this shape just in a pile, and then I had this little cutout. So I've already put on it the um, dimensionals. So then I had this leftover die cut. I'll put where that came from, and then another one of these. So here's what I was thinking. Why couldn't we nestle this underneath that and then cut around it so it's not so big, but to make it look like it's nice like lace and then glue that flat on the bottom. And this, now we have a beautiful piece. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna hold this under, grab my scissors, and let's just cut away. I wanna, I'm holding it in place because I wanna make sure that, I think I'm gonna cut like this. I'll cut it a little neater, but I wanna cut that flower out. I just think that'd be the coolest. Nope, not gonna cut that one. All right, I'm gonna cut a little bold, glue it, glue it down, and then cut it a little neater. But for the most part, this is gonna be the shape I want. Oh, it cut in two, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna pretty it up by smoothing out some of the rough edges because I wanted this little baby flower to show good enough. I just round off edges like this if I cut and just want it to look cute and not be quite so obvious. It was not its original intent. Now you know I love my glue so we're going to use some glue here and I want to like just prop it up and see where I want it. I definitely want to position it. There we go. Nope, I want it this way. So I'm going to put some glue Barely, but on the edges. Then we're just gonna tuck it under the flower that we already have bumped up with a dimensional. I'm seeing that might not work. I might have to make this a little smaller because of the glue. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna cut it away, you guys. Ta-da! And now what I'll do, there's a little glue there. Let's see which part over here we can add to it. I think I'll cut that off too. I like things that are just, look very intentional and not like we manipulated it really. It's okay if it does, but I get a little picky. That's gonna look sweet, don't you think? Just sweet. Okay, I turned it over to see where to put my glue and sometimes I put it in the wrong spot and that's okay. Here it is. We need my little silicone mat because then my glue won't stick to it. I think I'll do this. 
All right, it's starting to look so pretty. And then this one I'm gonna glue flat and tuck under there. So let me just put some glue. Yeah, we'll put a little drop right there. And I'm gonna tuck it under. This one is done. What we could do is come through here and pull out a little skinny guy to add a, uh, a sentiment. I didn't stamp sentiments, I figured you would figure that out. And a lot of times I don't stamp sentiments until I'm about to send my goodies out because maybe I made this a sympathy card and I really need a birthday card. But this is gonna be so stinking cute on a card top, don't you think? So you don't have to do these exact ideas, but I wanted to give you some fun ideas. Here I have a bunch of just pieces and cutouts. Now this piece, you're gonna remember me talking about. See that, see that? This is the hole I punched for the top of my glue holder. And yes, there's a video on how to make the glue holder, but this is the top that I punched out of it. So I'm gonna use it. So I just thought, let's, I'm gonna use the glue now. This is one of the postage stamp punches. And the base is the uh, stitch so sweetly. And I'm just gonna keep adding some circles till I get a precious, precious little blend. I think I'll do that. The arrangement is more whatever you want. You can't go wrong because these are scraps and we're just gonna make them so cute and just kind of layer them together. Now we could go low and let it extend off the corner. We can go, come up high and I think I'm gonna do that. This one already had a sentiment on it and some hearts. So it looks like I had a card that I changed my mind about the little sentiment. So let me get some glue dots, leftover bow. And I'm gonna just put a little glue dot on this little guy and, ooh, that looks cute. Put it right there, unless it doesn't stick. <laughs> oh my goodness. If we don't laugh at ourselves, it's just not funny. Okay, so here is another cutesy little embellishment for you. And you do not have to use punches like I did. You can use your die cuts. You can simply cut the shapes for yourself. Just using plain rectangles, maybe trace the bottom of a um, bottle cap or a bottom of a drinking glass and then fussy cut your circles. Whatever, you, just use what you have on hand and then of course, with my pretty stuff, you're gonna to want to order some fun stuff. This is similar to what we just did. I've got the little, I'm gonna do it in a different direction, but the little postage stamp guy. So I'm just gonna adhere him down. I'm gonna put this down. And then I'm gonna show you that guy. Do I want that on the top or bottom? Top. Now here's another one. You see that pretty print solid here? This is from the glue box that I physically made and with you on the video. And if you remember when I punched it out, I said, save that, we're gonna use it again. So today is the day we use it again. So I'm gonna put that down like here. And again, we can come back later and punch up a sentiment right there, so cute, but I'm gonna get my glue dots and watch it closely so it behaves this time and put it on the back of my little twine, put my twine right there. My bow is not the cutest in the history of the world, but literally that was scrap, literally. So that's another cutesy we've made from scratch, so I'll put that aside. The world is our oyster. We could do so much. Here's a little shape. I had a leftover vellum. These are some fussy cut flowers. And what I was gonna do with these, see how he's kind of cut apart, is just layer another flower in front of it like this. Glue it down, maybe, maybe add a piece of a leaf. And then we could add a sentiment later. Ooh, that actually looks good with it. 
because of the peach. I think I'll leave that one. Oop, that's too peachy, isn't it? Too matchy-matchy. So this one I won't glue. I'll just show and tell you. And, oh my stars, I'm in love with this, you guys. So pretty, so pretty. Is that, ooh, that's pretty too. But why couldn't we do this and add the flower, because it's upside down. And then we could come back, and yes, I'm making this up as I go. We could come back with a, I don't like that that's peach on peach, and that's too thick, but you're getting the idea of using up some of your leftover guys. And then this was a piece right here from the Memories in More pack that I have that I sh showed and told you. That made sense, didn't it? Sh show and tell. Anywho. So here's my daisy, cut it in half. Gonna put them together like that and then put it this is a border. This was a leftover border I had. So adhere that down. Let's go ahead and this guy will make and then we'll wrap it up because I'm going to show you a sweet, sweet project. I think I better glue it before I cut it. I was going to live dangerously and then I decided, no, I don't think I'll live dangerously. Sometimes we take chances with our crafts, don't we? We well, have to to be creative, but sometimes it's like, let's just work foolproof and do what we know works. Did I? I think I did. Lining it up. We love the glue because it's so forgiving and you can see I was able to manipulate and move it around a little bit. So now I'll turn it upside down. And using the back of the card front is just use it as a template. Now that's looking so pretty where we could either put a little shape on top of it, we could come in with the daisy. There's just so much you could do and I'm just demonstrating like little things we could do because I really want you to just to use your own stuff. A little too much, isn't it? Oh, I love that. I just grabbed that as if it was a scrap. I think I'm gonna leave this one as is and come back later with something teeny like this, sticking out the side. I need something up here, and I'm not sure what it should be, but it could come back with more flowers. We talked about this one. That would be adorable in the corner. So I want you to be able to just put your goodies together, see them, and just move them around. There's no hard and fast rules with this. It's just use all your goodies. Whether it be with punches, whether it be with just cutting things out. I'm going to bring him back out because, oh, you know I'm assembling this. I just think it's gorgeous. All these pretty punches. This is one of my favorites too, you guys, that one. This I like because I just feel like it's a total embellishment. Like, hey, I just literally put pieces together to create that like what then we're like yes um, oh my goodness this is good I got two punches didn't even know I had that all right this looks kind of cute to the side here and I'll put this one back so just some show and tell some of the things we assembled what can you do with this you can put it in your scrapbooks. You can put it in your junk journals. You can put this on top of cards because what I did was I measured our A2 size card to make sure this would fit on top of a base, on top of a layer. So, oh, let me get my measurements for you. Da, 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 let me look. Approximately three inches by two and a half would be the size for these because you we want them, if you're making cards, to fit on an A2 card. Now for more videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'm hoping you're learning something. And if you did, if you learned something or just had fun, go boop and hit the like button and show me some love. Now I also wanna show you another project. This is called a sampler. And this is easy to make with scrap paper. It's a little three-dimensional frame, you can see. 
And then I've got the die cuts and some ephemera and some leftover twine and a little banner right here. Some die cuts, leftover small pieces, that one I embossed. And then the only big piece is the 12 by 12 behind all of this. There's a little, uh, what are those called? A little, not banner, border, a border. And you don't have to do, you could do it, um, faith-based you could do an easter one you could do a birthday gift Ooh, wouldn't this be gorgeous for mother's day with something even with flowers and then just put mom in the center so this i wanted to share with you these samplers are so much fun to make because it's as if you're making a different card with each little thing and you don't have to use this arrangement you could put one long one in the middle and three shorts around the top but I wanted to give you another option, another sample of what you can do with your scrap paper. So, what do you think? Tell me in the project section. Tell me in the comment section which project you're going to use your new embellishments for. So I'm gonna turn you up now so I can say goodbye. Twisted the camera, Anya. And yes, 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 comment. I feel like I gotta do this because my camera's moving down. Anyway, I'll scoot down. Go ahead and comment for me, and I'll put all the goodie information for you in the description section. Thank you for watching, and I've got such a fun video for Friday of, ooh, I'm not even gonna tell you, Shh, it's gonna be a secret, but it's so cute and fun, one theme, and come back and join me and see what we're gonna make together with our scrap paper on Friday. Bye, you guys.